Welcome to the blog V Watt. A vlog for bloggers. The today topic is to fix remove unused CSS error showing in a Google Page Speed Insights tool. So have you recently discovered a remove unused CSS error in the Google Page Speed Insights tool, right? If yes, then continue watching this video. Don't worry today I am going to show you the two best solutions to fix this unused CSS error. So without any delay let's jump to the first method. Before jumping to the solutions I would like to share the reason of this error in no time. Well when the Google Page Speed tool detects this error on your page, it is trying to say that your web page has some CSS code that is not essential or does not play a role in web page rendering or loading. Hence suggesting removing unused CSS from the web page to release the burden of the network server. So what are the solutions to deal with unused CSS? Well, let's see the solutions suggested by the Google Page Speed tool itself. There can be two solutions, either remove the unused CSS code or defer it. We will cover them both. Let's start the solution one which is removing unused CSS. Removing CSS manually or without the plugin is not easy as you think. The success ratio is less compared to the defer method. But guess what? If you remove the unused CSS with the help of a plugin then it is only a one minute task and there will be no failures. So let's implement the manual method of removing the unused CSS. So in a manual method first open up the affected web page in Google Chrome browser. Then the first step is to extract the unused CSS code of the web page. For this click on the three dots icon then navigate to more tools, then select developer tools. Now the Chrome Dev Tools window has opened. Again tap on the three dots icon and navigate to more tools then select coverage. This will open up the coverage tab just below the main window. After that, tap on the reload button situated in the middle. This will reload the page and start searching for unused CSS. See, the Chrome DevTools start analyzing your page for unused CSS and JavaScript. Now there is possibility that a web page has unused CSS stored in multiple CSS files. In the unused bytes you can see the percentage of unused CSS code of a corresponding CSS file of a web page. So as you can see that my web page has reported unused CSS code in multiple CSS files. So I have to manually open these CSS files and eliminate the unused CSS code one by one. I am showing you a demo for one CSS file. So for example let's select a CSS file from the coverage tab. I am selecting this one having 99% unused CSS code. So when you select any CSS file here, the CSS code for that file will be visible in the above window. Now open up the notepad and copy all the code labeled by the blue stripe and ignore the rest. The code marked by the red line in this CSS file is the unused code. The blue one is a used CSS code and we only need a used CSS code. So copy all the used CSS code from here. Step 2. Paste the new CSS used code. For this, we have to locate that CSS file in our website files. To find the location of the CSS file, simply hover on the CSS file name shown at the top of the Chrome developer's window. It will display the whole file directory. When you get the file directory of the CSS file, simply navigate to your website files either through cPanel or FTP. Open up the public HTML folder and navigate to the CSS file location. First, remove the existing code and paste the used CSS code, which we saved earlier in a notepad. So this is how you can remove the unused CSS from a web page manually. But wait! Before implementing this method, you should aware of the limitation of this manual method. Remember I said earlier in a video that the success ratio of removing CSS manually is very less. This is because of these limitations. If you want to learn more about these limitations, please follow our website article. Now the plugin which helps you in removing the CSS without any failure is called WP Rocket. Well, it is a complete site optimization solution and will help you eliminate almost every error of a Google page speed and improve your site performance in minutes. It is a paid plugin, you can choose any of the available plans. These are the benefits you will get when you choose to remove the unused CSS with the help of WP Rocket plugin. So after installing the WP Rocket plugin on the WordPress site navigate to WP Rocket settings and choose the file optimization tab. Here you will find the remove unused CSS option. Just enable it and you are good to go. After that WP Rocket starts the removal process, it will take some time depending on the CSS applied to the whole website. When a process will complete, you will see the confirmation message. After that, you can verify the CSS unused error is still there or not in a Google Page Speed Insights tool. 
The next solution suggested by the Google Page Speed tool is to defer the unused CSS. In this, we actually don't remove the unused CSS code. Instead, we defer the non-critical CSS code so it will load after the page finish rendering. That's why the chances of website design crashes are less in this method. Again similar to removing CSS, deferring the non-critical CSS code can be possible by either manual coding method or with the plugin approach. The manual method is a little bit complex and involves three main steps. I suggest only perform these steps when you have good knowledge of the website backend. If you want to learn the manual defer method, navigate to our website article. For users who don't want to mess in coding at all, then they can use the WP Rocket plugin to defer the non-critical CSS easily. WP Rocket also has an option to defer the CSS. Just navigate to the WP Rocket settings and enable the optimized CSS delivery option available in the File Optimization tab. So if you are choosing the WP Rocket plugin to deal with unused CSS, I highly recommend first enable the Remove Unused CSS and then enable the Optimized CSS Delivery module. This will give your website an extra performance boost. So in a nutshell, when you remove as well as defer the unnecessary CSS code with the WP Rocket plugin or manually, these two errors shown in the Google Page Speed tool will be gone. The first is remove the unused CSS and the second is eliminate the render blocking resources. So this is all about removing the unused CSS error from the Google Page Speed Insights tool. If you want to learn more about this topic, visit our website article. The link is mentioned in the video description.